So Genshin Impact reached out to me the other day and said, please draw our characters. And I was like, bad. But there's a catch. I'm only gonna draw Genshin characters that I pull and then roast them based on my first impressions. Before anything though, just wanna say that Furina is coming out in the 4.2 patch. So you better check her out. More about her later. Okay, so I got 10 wishes. Now, I'm either gonna pull a special item or a 4 star. And if I'm lucky, a 5 star. Uh, okay. Skip. 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 Oh wait. <gasps> Daddy? Oh my gosh, guys. This guy straight up just looks like an undercover furry. Bro, are those cat ears? Bro, he got imitation cat ears on his head. No way he has thigh-high boots. That's so baby girl of him. Okay, let's try him. Honestly, guys, I'm surprised he's a new character. I gotta say, it took Genshin way too long to make a dark-haired edgelord. I mean, there's also Xiao, but like, he doesn't count since he's a midget. Okay, but like, what the heck kind of name is Rizly? To be honest, this guy looks like if a furry artist tried drawing real people. Like, dude, you can kind of tell that his design is borderline furry because of the cat ears and the freaking choker on his neck. Like, what is that? It's so sus. Anyway, I looked into his lore, and it's exactly how you expect it. It's edgy af. However, I do like his fit. His fit do be so drippy. I really like the cape with the fur stuff going on. And, and, not to be cringe, but this is the type of character I go for. I will most definitely be using him as my main purely for the looks, okay? I do not care about his powers. Irrelevant. He's just hot. Yes, I'm that type of gamer. Best believe I will spend all my money on him. 100 out of 10. Holy crap, you guys. Look at this. Look at that glorious cake. Magnificent. Next. Okay, so for our second character, I got another 10 wishes. Hopefully I'll pull someone hot though. Oh. Oh, Noelle. Wha bro, why does she have a mini shield on her head? What the heck is that even protecting? Anyway, let's draw her. Okay, purely based on first impressions, bro, she is basic AF. She looks like she was just created to look cute. I feel like she's useless AF in terms of battling. She's like Sakura from Naruto. However, I don't care about that. As I said, I only care about the looks. Inside doesn't matter. Also, I do like the design and the color palette though. She's like a maid who is also a knight. Okay, wow. Her costume does not make any sense and is not protecting any body parts at all. She can literally just get slashed through that dress. You know what? She's just there to slay and I kind of respect that. Anyway, I tried my best to make her as dainty and cute and shy as possible but holy crap you guys, I was struggling with the front braid. I should really just be ashamed of calling myself an artist but at the same time, why does bro even have a front braid with that tiny shield? Is the front braid there so that the shield has something to hang on to? So anyway, like I don't see myself making her. Mostly because I prefer meaning guys because I like staring at the cake. 5 out of 10. Next. Okay, so for the next 10 wishes, please give me a hot character again. I want to draw hot people. Ooh, Thotma. Wait, he's literally hot. I mean burning. Bro, I freaking pulled him twice. What the heck is this fit, bro? The upper half is giving F1 driver, but then the bottom. He looks like a professional yodeler. What are those? Okay, let's draw him. Um, okay, bro. You know what, guys? He looks like a generic anime protagonist who's suspiciously too perfect and kind of mid. And he gives off boring vibes. Although, he do be looking very submissive. I feel like he would look good in a maid outfit. Outfit. Also, also, he looks like this other Genshin character, aka Mr. Worldwide. The only thing that sets him apart is that he has this weird horn handpad, which is apparently inspired by a samurai helmet. And I'm not gonna lie, that's some pretty fire character design. But it doesn't suit him. Look at him. He's so baby girl. Bro, he should have worn a maid outfit. But oh my goodness, guys. Because of this drawing, I just realized how freaking hard it is to draw Genshin characters because of their clothes. Listen, they're nice to look at, but drawing them is absolute hell. Guys, look at how bad I am at doing the rope. I seriously need to reevaluate my artist skills, bro. I literally had to use this stupid rope brush. So to all the artists who draw Genshin fan art 24-7, I seriously respect you guys. You guys have no lives. This takes too much time, man. Anyway, he also has this sassy little rat tail at the back. Kindly cut it off, please. What is the deal with Genshin characters having rat tails, man? So in summary, on the scale of twink to daddy, I would say that Toma is more of a twink. He gives up house husband vibes though. Appearance wise, I would probably use him from time to time. 7 out of 10. Next. <sighs> okay, here's another one. I'm about to go broke. Please let me pull another hottie. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 
Ooh la la. Another five star. It's crazy. Okay, what the heck? What is up with Genshin and their five star characters having furry ears? Okay, let's draw her. I have no idea what to make of her design. Guys, her hair color reminds me of the Taku Bill logo. She also looks like an absolute sundere. She looks like the type to call you baka and then secretly blush and then punch you. Honestly, she looks really basic, but her design must be popular with the weaves and neck beards. Cause like, what are the cat ears for? Seriously, I gotta know. Still like it though. 12 out of 10. Next. Now, before anything else, Genshin Impact has a new announcement. I mean, we all know what Genshin Impact is. It's a cross-platform RPG waifu slash husband collector available on PC, mobile, PS4, and 5 where you can explore the continent of Tevat. So, not only can you explore different regions, climb mountains, and swim in lakes, you can also <gasps> farm and go fishing. It's literally all in one. And if you think the characters I pulled are hot, wait till you see the others. Mommy. And now, for the exciting news. Now, okay guys, Genshin just released version 4.2, which means new characters, new maps, a new main storyline, new events, and more. And let me tell you what's new. There's a new wish banner where you can pull these guys. The main highlight is Farina. Now let me tell y'all about Farina, Genshin's new girl boss on the block. Now, she may be a midget, but she is strong out. She's called the Regina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and laws. Now, in case you guys are interested in learning more about her story, Genshin also released story quests. Yeah, so you can find out more about her lore. You can also continue the next part of the Archon stories. So guys, if you want to play Genshin, you can just click the link below to download Genshin Impact. The download link is below. Next, we're gonna draw Farina. No, I did not pull her. This is just a bonus since she's a new character, because like a few days ago, Genshin Impact just celebrated its anniversary and version 4.2 just released. Anyway, so going back to her, she gives me 411 vibes. You know those people who are really short? And then when you make fun of them for being short. They look at you like they want to stab you. Yeah, that's the exact same vibe that she gives me from her character design alone. I like her color palette though. Very monochromatic. It's just all blue. She looks like a sea midget. One thing I notice about Farina though is that her eyes have two different colors. Both of them are blue, but like it's kind of different. Like she has heterochromia eyes. It's giving OC created by an edgy 12 year old. And her hat? What is this? The Onesler? Okay, let's go over the things I like about her though. I like her eyelashes. It looks like upside down teardrops. That's like really unique. But at the same time, how does Bro even use mascara? 8 out of 10. Okay, so if you were to ask me how I would rank the characters I pulled, obviously we're gonna base it on looks, okay? Listen guys, obviously Risley slash Risley is my number one. That's literally automatic, without a doubt. I feel like Hoyoverse made that dude specifically for me, okay? He is exactly the type of guy that I love. I love me an undercover furry wolf boy. If you literally look at my page, I just draw the exact same black hair character over and over again. He's that type. He literally reminds me of other Hoyoverse characters, man. Second is Kuching. Yes, I found out that the pronunciation is Kuching. Anyway, yes, my top two faves are the ones with furry ears. Do not judge me. She has a really simple but recognizable design. What can I say? I love the basics. But also, her name, Kuching? I love the sound of that. I love the sound of Kuching. Money. Oh my gosh, guys. I feel so stupid pronouncing it like Keking. Sounds like heck. Next, Toma. Toma is a little cutie patootie. Looks like his love language is acts of service. Enough said. I really like his headband. It makes him look really recognizable. Enough said. Next is Farina. I love Farina's design. Definitely not a type of character that's usually my fave, but her design is so consistent with her character. Someone give Genshin character designers a raise. Please just do. I mean, come on guys, she looks so drippy. Last but not the least is Noelle. She reminds me of Rem from Rezero. Very cute, but just not my type. When it comes to female characters, I really like the dommy mommy ones. I don't really like the cutesy wootsy types. I like the flashy design. One example is Himiko from Honkai Star Rail. But anyway, that's it. Here are the rankings. Anyway, okay guys, be sure to download Genshin Impact in the description because 4.2 is out and there are loads of cool stuff on there. Anyway, which rose is most accurate? Comment below. All the freaking Genshin characters have peak character design, man. Once again, thank you to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. Hope you guys like this video. Watch this next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.